Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a kind of a hidden gem inside of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 that's been there and most people just never would ever see it or find it because it's kind of buried in a menu option. First let me explain the scenario and what's going on and then show you one quick fix for it using this hidden gem. Um, what I've got here is I've got three images. Um, and of course, I've got hundreds more from this from this photo session. But when we look at them, they I mean, the exposure is OK. Looks pretty good. Um, pretty much the same exposure on that one. And then I changed the lighting on this third one and got a much brighter exposure, maybe even some, in some cases a little overexposed. But it's certainly much brighter than the other two. And this happens in photography all the time. You take a shot. Make an adjustment, take a shot, make an adjustment, take a shot, and then you finally get it the way you want, and you're like, oh, but all those, you know, some of those test shots were actually really pretty good. If I could have just had the lighting I have now back then. So, what this will do is help you in those situations. Whether you shot with studio strobes, a speed light, or any other kind of flash, or just regular landscapes with natural light. This will still work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, and this is really key as far as you tell telling Photoshop which one is most important. So I'm trying to match the tonal exposures of any other shots to this one. So I select this one first. It's my, what I like to refer to as my most selected image. So now that I've got that one selected, I can go ahead and select any more I want, any other ones I want. I can uh, command or control click them individually. I can shift click, but as long as my correct exposure is my most selected image, then this is then it will know to apply to any other selected image those tonal that are the tonal range in that particular one. So let's go up to our uh, photo menu. We're going to come down to where it's buried in the develop settings, and then all the way at the bottom there's this cool thing called match tonal exposures and that's exactly what it's for so when i say match tonal exposures it takes the most selected image meaning the one you clicked on first or the one that's got the brighter highlight on it and it applies that tonal exposure to any other selected images so let's go ahead and do it and there they are okay so if we look at the and here yeah, just one popped in okay so here we go this is what it looks like now this is what it looks like now, and of course the original one. So it didn't necessarily overexpose the other two, but it certainly brightened them up to where they're now kind of all in line with the same kind of um, brightness or same kind of exposure that I had on the most selected image. So if you got a range of photos, 100 photos, and you got that one that was just the perfect right lighting, you go back to the other 99 now and say, match it and you get that same tonal exposure on the other 99 images or 9,000 images or how many ever you shot until you got the one you wanted. All right, so with that, um, that's it for this quick tip. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.